This is Cynthia on Embracing His Word. Well, thank you for taking a few minutes to listen to my channel. Can you recognize the signs of anger rooted in your heart? Anger can be buried, explosive, and manifest in so many different ways. So I want you to take time to listen to this message and find, about, find out about the signs and the symptoms of unresolved anger in your heart. Thank you. So, so today we are talking about uh, what anger can look like in our lives. Now, anger can come in uh, varying degrees of intensity. Um, a lot of times people hide uh, their anger. They, they can get control of it in such a way they can hide their anger. And also, um, there's that type of anger where people just explode so it comes in various uh, intensities so it can be deliberately hidden from others and also it can be unconsciously expressed so when I say unconsciously expressed I'm, I'm thinking about those times and people make sarcastic remarks toward you maybe uh, there is some underlying anger uh, toward you in the individual's heart so if you find that you're always been sarcastic um, you may want to examine your hearts your heart about underlying anger also uh, anger can be deliberately expressed through silent treatment um, snobbing another individual because you're angry at them deliberately shutting that person out um, on purpose you sh uh, shut them out of your life and so let's look at what the effects of anger um, before we go into the effects of anger and let's let's just talk a little bit about why um, you need to ask your, yourself the question why do I feel angry is it because of frustrations that you've been experiencing in your life and bears a humiliation guilt or shame jealousy hurt or sadness feeling unable to control a situation and i know that in this season in this time a lot has been going on um with the uh, pandemic and a lot of people have experienced the loss of loved ones and so you may be experiencing some anger and so what we want to do today is just get at the root of the problem find out exactly the reasons why and begin to surrender that issue, that problem to the Lord Jesus Christ. So people may be feeling unable to control a situation, feeling threatened or frightened. And I know that even in this season and time, people are experiencing a lot of fear, feeling unfairly treated, uh, feeling misunderstood and not listened to, feeling the pressure of living in two worlds, uh, feeling a loss of connection to family and community and country, uh, especially in this season. But I, I want to encourage you that God is for you. He is not against you. And he has certainly not abandoned you. So let's look at that when, um, how to identify if a spirit of anger is present in your soul. And so... We want to be able to uh, able to identify if we really need to not only just pray, but we need to take a little bit further and seek deliverance from a spirit of anger. So these are some of the signs that uh, a spirit of anger has entered into your life. You know, in the first video, we talked about uh, the principle of the open door. So if you missed the first video, go back to that video and you hear me talk about the principle of the, of the open door. Whereas there has been some sin 
and that has not been dealt with and we allow ourselves to continue to indulge in that particular sin. So if we continue to indulge in that particular sin, there is an open door, whereas the enemy can creep right on into your life and bring that spirit into your life. And so this specific, specific spirit that we're talking about is the spirit of anger. So if you see yourself having uncontrollable rage, uncontrollable verbal and physical abuse, toward yourself or even toward others. A physical, um, also a physical manifestation. Oftentimes people, uh, I've seen this very often, people go into a rage and you can actually see a manifestation of a change of a spirit taking over their facial features. Also, um, when people are under the influence of a spirit of, of anger and rage, they can also take on that uh, supernatural strength. I don't know if you ever encountered anyone with that supernatural strength. That is definitely demonic. Um, uh, people that are beating down doors, uh, punching holes in the wall, threatening through intimidation and murder, continuously stirring up strife, angry or bitter dis disagreement, refusal to forgive, pulling out knives or a gun. So I want to go back to uh, stirring up strife. The scripture says a hot tempered person stirs up conflict, but the one who is patient calms a quarrel. So these are some of the signs that you can identify if a spirit has entered into your life. So let's talk about when does anger become a problem? So you know it's definitely a problem if this spirit has creeped into your life. Signs that anger might be a problem include feeling angry a lot of the time at intense and overwhelming level, having trouble controlling anger, feeling sad and distressed as a result of getting angry, using alcohol or even using drugs um, to manage your anger, feeling the need to use anger to get people to do something uh, using control and manipulation, withdrawing from people or situations, bottling things up rather than coping with them. So we don't want to bottle our feelings up but we want to be able to communicate our feelings in a wise manner Bond, uh, regretting the things you did or said when you were angry expressing anger by saying or doing something aggressive or violent shouting swearing throwing or hitting uh hitting things so anger, let's look at the word anger versus aggression. Anger can sometimes lead people to being aggressive or violent, but they are not the same. Anger is a feeling, but aggression and violence are actions, and it's these actions that can lead to problems. So let's start looking at some of the things that we can do to overcome anger. So I want you to follow up and listen to my next video. Make sure you share this video. Um, make sure you click the bell so you can get my new content on a regular basis. Also like the video. I also need uh, everyone to start commenting on my uh, video so that I can improve uh, my channel. So thank you for tuning in to Embracing His Word. Be blessed and have a wonderful day.